This video demonstrates a WaveShare ePaper display controlled by an NRF52832 microcontroller running on the NRF DK board. The app is controlled over Bluetooth using the Light Blue Android app. The device shows up by the name WaveShare Demo. I have already selected the device and it provides a service with two read-write characteristics. One characteristic is to choose one of the three screens to show on the display. The display is on the left, the white section, and the dev board is the green part of it, that's the NRF52DK. Uh, one characteristic is to choose one of the screens on the display, and the other characteristic is to customize a multibyte string that will be printed to the screen. As you switch between the demo screens, you'll be able to see that. So here's the demo in action. Now I just selected the screen characteristic. I'm asking it now to show screen zero. Now to screen one. And screen two. I'll now write a new string for screen zero and update the screen. So that's the ePaper demo. The app also uses the DFU feature to jump to the bootloader. This is activated when I write the hex value 40 to the screen characteristic. You will notice that the LED pattern on the dev board changes to the DFU mode indicator. The Bluetooth app disconnects. The board advertises a new name, which I programmed with the custom bootloader. Um, and the uh, connection drops. From that you can then connect using the Nordic NRF tools to write a new app to the device. I will actually do a separate tutorial on secure BTFU over Bluetooth in the near future and when I do that I will definitely link to it from the description of this video. Thanks for watching.